Now, if you encounter this issue where by you are creating partitions for your Linux distro and you're noticing that you get to the limit of four partitions that you can create. So for this example, I've got my EFI or Grub partition. I have my swap partition. This is one of the Linux distros that I've hypothetically installed. And here is the second Linux distro that I've hypothetically installed. But if I were to try to create another partition, then I encounter this issue here. It is not possible to create more than four primary partitions. Now the reason for this, and you may encounter this when you're trying to dual boot with Windows, is that your computer's hard drive has actually been formatted with the MBR partition table. So the MBR partition table, although it's very good, won't allow you to have more than four partitions on your hard drive. Now it's a relatively easy fix, however to do the fix you actually need to completely format your hard drive from scratch. So if you were dual booting with Windows, you won't be able to do that without having to reinstall Windows completely. However, if you had a Linux only machine and you were starting from scratch, so you don't mind formatting your entire hard drive and ridding yourself of every single thing on the hard drive, then how to change the partition table is you go up to device and then click create partition table and this is in gparted. Now if I were to select MS-DOS as my partition table to install onto, then that would actually create the MBR partition table. However, if I open this drop down menu and select GPT, then click apply, and that has completed. So now I'll actually be able to create more than four partitions. So let's quickly do that now. So I'll just create one gigabyte sized partitions. And here's number four. And now if I go to that elusive number five, I'm actually able to create it. So if I apply these operations, and this should be pretty quick to do because these are all empty one gigabyte partitions that I'm creating. And that has completed, so I can close out of there. And I can actually keep creating partitions now if I wanted to, and create probably as many partitions as I could fit onto this hard drive. So let's create another one gigabyte partition, and then another one, just to make sure this definitely works. And as you can see, I'm able to keep creating partitions now because I have changed my partition table to GPT. So I'll just undo those operations and go to device, create partition table, and as long as I select GPT here, then I'll actually change the partition table structure of my hard drive. So that is all there is to it. Hope that helps you guys out there who've been asking the question and I'll catch you in my next series of videos which are coming up very soon. I'm just learning how to use OBS. As you can see I'm doing these fancy uh, things that I can do with zoom ins and zoom outs. So hopefully this will allow me to create videos a lot faster. So I'll catch you in the next series of videos.